Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe, get notified. But if you're already part of the crew, salute. So a few months back, um, this company called Vermi had sent out a smartwatch called the V T3, which is a fitness tracker, sleep monitor, um, has a lot of cool features. Now they, they sent it out for free. They didn't ask me, they didn't pay me for the review. It was my own ideas, own opinions, own thoughts, just like this one. So we're going to be talking about the V T3 light, you know what I mean? So. All of these ideas are my own. They just said, hey, look, we got a new one. Let me know if you want to check it out. I was like, OK, I want to see what's the difference and everything like that. So make, I'm going to make a video about it. So they're pretty much going to be almost identical. They, they, um, the, the V Tempo 3 did offer you actually 22 millimeter straps right here that you can switch out on the watch. So that's one of the really cool features is that you could just search on Amazon. Um, you could search, you know, um, 22 millimeter straps on Amazon and everything like that. And they will give you that option to have uh, replaceable straps. So they gave you three in, in the, in the, um, the Tempo V3. So you know what I'm, so I'm talking about? They sent it out again, the, the newer one. And I wanted to show you the differences. So with the v tempo 3 you're getting the blood oxygen um where it'll track like that that sp02 which is like the blood oxygen and um you know they th this newer one doesn't have that blood oxygen one because what they did is they put the music ac easy access to music inside of the light so the v t3 light has the music controls but it doesn't have the blood oxygen so they just switched those two features. Guys, so I'm gonna show you guys um, what the box looks like right now in the V Tempo 3 light. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one right here. All you have to do is pop open the box. And like I said before, you can see all the features here. I have the VT3 on my wrist. So we're gonna take a look at the light, but timely incoming calls and notification messages, up to seven days ultra long battery, IP68 water resistance for swimming. Um, you know, same thing with the other one. Everything is pretty much the same, but this one has the scientific sleep on it. It's more advanced. The light one doesn't offer the scientific sleep. So that's just another thing that you want to take note of, guys. Um, now they both have the USB cable and everything of that nature. So let's just open up this, this, this newer box. I'm going to put these straps that the T3 came with off to the side. And let's go ahead and lift the top. Now look at the presentation here. It's really good, really good presentation. You get this pull tab where you can kind of pull everything. Everything's like right there. So let's kind of just show you right here what it looks like. So first you get your support card right here from with all your information here that you need. You get a card right here and they also do give you more straps guys. So this is that proprietary cable that you can't lose or you know, Hopefully you could just keep this somewhere where you're gonna always know where it's gonna be Now this is the watch itself and um, Everything of that nature. So this is really cool You got like this matte sticker on the front of it and the button on here looks really cool So I'm gonna have to take the one that's on my wrist off so I can show you And um, it looks like these straps are exactly the same size, which is crazy but look at the new um, updated button that they put on the, the light. It's got a red like button on it and it's gonna be really nice to look at versus the other one. They both look really good. They're about the same size and everything like that. Um, you can see the straps right here have that buckle. They, they're identical in size as well. So I'm gonna put the, the V3 T3 off to the side right now. And um, now let's take a look at this one in a little bit more detail. I'll take the sticker off the top and put this off to the side. And 
um, so we do get the cable. We'll keep that close by just in case. But this is the another strap that came with it right here. Actually, this is not that that came with the other one. So let me see. So this thing has. Um, and that's pretty much everything that it comes with. There's no extra straps in here. It's just the cable, guys. So the the light version doesn't come with your extra straps. So I was ex I was kind of hoping we got those, but we didn't get those this time. And um, you know what I mean. So um, basically, you know, we're gonna go ahead and power this thing on right now. Give it some juice. Okay, so it does say English on the front of here. So let's go ahead and hit that. It does say, please connect to the app and sync to get more functions. So you would definitely have to go into the app. So what I would have to do is actually uh, disconnect the other one from this app called Vermi. It's called the Vermi. It does have a software update for music controls right here, it does say. So this is the one with the music controls, like I was talking about in the beginning. Um, it says an upgrade is expected to five to 30 minutes, please wait. So, um, wow, that's crazy. Let me, let, me, let me put this down real quick. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. Fine, yes. And then you can connect this one. Search again. Oh, here it is, the VT3 Lite. And this one is gonna, we're gonna pair this one for the very first time now, guys. So I'm just waiting for it to offer it and, and establish a connection to the to the smartwatch. And it, here it is, it did, it's at 85%. So here is everything that we need. You could change your dials right here. You get a custom dial, which you can install right there, downloading. And that, that looks pretty cool. Let me see if it's, if it's gonna change anything on here, but you do get that custom dial on here, like I said, and it, it, it is still downloading. Let me just wait for that to download. Um, this is, there's a settings button here. Settings button dial. Okay, so it's still downloading. It says you can choose one preferred watch theme or customize it. So I'm gonna go back. So that's where you would change the dial. You could set alarms and schedule alarms on your smartwatch. You can actually set the sedentary timer as well. And um, you can set the time for when you want that to go off. This is where you have all your reminders for all your social media and time and your phone calls. And for your messages on this smartwatch, it does offer the same interface as the tempo one did except the scientific tra um, sleep tracker is not on here like i said before and you can customize the watch faces right here it's going to give you all your watch faces right right here to choose from so one two three four five so about five different watch faces this one is like the old casio watches right there and you got your music controls on this one. So this is why I like the light version because you can control your music on here. Um, let me show you. So you got metric system, Imperial English. You also do have Remind by, um, you, could, you can mess around with the, the vibration motors. It's got a bunch of different ones. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then you also do get your, your brightness on the screen, heart rate, got um, auto heart rate is on heart rate guidance let's turn that on as well and then we do also have um uh, wearing manner i'm gonna wear it on my right hand so that's pretty cool auto recognition on motion you could turn that on and that's all the settings that we went through now here is where we're going to get our sports modes for tracking your steps calories burned and um distance you also do get running where you can do different sports modes right from your smartwatch your heart rate is, is, is being tracked automatically and so is your stress right there. So I think that's pretty cool. 
then you can get to your messages whenever you do get any i don't have any on my watch right now clock watch stopwatch and alarm clock and timer as well as a compass on here and then you can also change the brightness right from here if you want to um, boost that all the way up you can do so but right now it's on auto you can put it on auto and it'll auto adjust i really do like that i'm going to keep it at auto because it'll know when to become brighter i don't think the vt3 had that but maybe with the software update it will get that i might have to do a comparison of those two but let's go into personal information and you can see right here it's gonna set goals and um, all that has everything set in here and you can change this to Fahrenheit for weather so it does have temperature switch right there so I'm not sure where this show showing the weather but um, it's gonna show that in Fahrenheit if it does show up you know what I mean so let me see so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my wrist right now, but this feels really light in my hand. I guess that's where it gets the name from. Hence, um, the other feature that it offers is the, it doesn't have the the blood oxygen, but it does off, and it didn't have the scientific sleep, but it does offer a sleep tracking mode on here. So at least you can track your sleep. You get IP68 auto brightness on here. Um, you get your music control so let's say i'm in um youtube let me show you let's say right now i'm, in, I'm going to youtube and let's say <clears throat> you know i'm gonna throw on the first thing i see i think uh let me see so let's say we're watching a, a, some gaming this is the charging cable that it comes with right here so let's say we're watching some gaming hopefully that loads up you can see this one has the 1008 and this has 1009. That's pretty cool. But like, if you go into your watch, you can, can increase the bright, the, the volume right here from the smartwatch. So I think that's pretty cool. And then you can pause it and play it. And then you can also switch the track like that on YouTube and you can do that like in music so if I'm I just think that music controls is pretty cool that they added that on here because when you go into like uh, let me see if I have SoundCloud I don't have SoundCloud but let's say you're in Spotify and let's say you're using the app Spotify um, let me type in some non-copyright music so let's say you go to um, Spotify and you go to, um, you know, the song right here. You could go to the watch on your, your, your phone and you can, you can control the volume and I can control the track. So I could, I could cycle through my music from my wrist when I'm listening to um, headphones or something like that as well. So let me pause that. But I think that's pretty cool. A good a good upgrade that um, that Vermi put on this smartwatch. Um, you still can, um, I believe, take pictures from here. Wait, I just pressed play. Hold on. So look, this is where it tracks my steps. I get a reading for my heart rate right there and it's also tracking my standing time and calories burned so that's everything in there and then the sports modes you get so the, you know this thing is packed it's with a it's a lightweight smartwatch with a ton of features i'm going to leave a link down below but it's only going to be 35.99 plus 20 percent off with the code that they include guys so just a really good deal overall but let me know what you think down below about the Vermi Tempo VT3 Lite and the Tempo VT3 um, the regular and let me know which features you like on both I like the music mode I like how they added that on here but I'll get right back with you later crew peace